you've got a lot of, of reporters out there. Their default, anytime there's a labor conflict in sports, is a pox on both their houses. How many people know that last year the National Football League generated $9 billion in revenue? According to Forbes magazine, every team averages $31 million in profit every year. Every averages. team averages. Mm. Every team is worth a billion dollars as an average. Every team. And here's the kicker. Over the last 15 years, every team's value has grown by approximately 500%. So that's the owner side. Now, look, the players, the average salary, the mean salary in the National Football League is $700,000. And, and look, you will never find a player, um, you know, who's going to say that, you know, we're crying poorhouse. Because, look, I go to our players and I, I tell them the reason why you have to be responsible is the average wage for a, a man between the ages of 21 and 24 in America is about $25,000. Yeah. The average salary for our players of similar age is $700,000. Mm. We should never be in a position where we have to give up based on money. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's insulting. Right. But on our side of the table for a player, the average career for a football player is 3.6 years. Mm. It takes you three years and three games in order to get five years of health care coverage after you're done playing. If you play any less than three years in the National Football League, you don't get any health care coverage after the game is over. If you play three years in three games, you still only get five years. Wow. So uh -huh. you, you take a guy who graduates from college at 21, 22. The average career is 3.6 years. Let's just say he plays four years. Players are retiring, retiring at the ripe old age of 26, 27, five years of health care coverage will get you to 44 at best. And everything after that, every injury you have is a pre-existing condition. Mm. Try to find insurance for that. I know. So when they say to me, it's a battle between billionaires and millionaires, why should we care? That's where I start. Mm -hmm. But look, if we get locked out, just like if they get locked out, mm -hmm. we have 30,000 people who work in our stadiums. They're locked out. Right. The concession workers and the people who are parking cars in the sleet uh, and in the rain for their fourth and fifth job, they're locked out. The bars and the restaurants that rely on football, they're locked out. The families of our players who rely on the health care, no health care. So I don't really look at this as a battle between millionaires and billionaires. I look at this as a battle between 32 people who can unilaterally shut down our game and America who digs it.